breaking news as well regarding the federal conservative leadership race. Standing by in Ottawa, we've got Power Play host Evan Solomon, who's standing by. Evan, what are you hearing? Yeah, uh, sources telling me that the man who was widely considered one of the front runners in the conservative leadership race, Pierre Polyevra, will make an announcement very shortly that he is not going to run for the conservative leadership race. This is stunning news because just yesterday, Ronna Ambrose, another putative front runner, said she was not going to run. And everyone thought it was going to be uh, Peter McKay versus Pierre Polyevra. He had been organizing. He had had a campaign team ready. And there was reports that he was going to announce that he was running this Sunday. But now, in a stunning announcement that I think is just minutes away, according to sources that I'm talking to, Pierre Polyever will drop out. We don't know the reasons. Uh, he'll say it's personal reasons for his family. But Pierre Polyever does not run, which would mean that this is almost... If that's the case and no other big names jump in, boy, does it ever look like a coronation for Peter McKay uh, if these sources, and I think they're right, that Pierre Polyevra is out, Ron Ambrose out, Jean Charest out. Mm -hmm. Boy, smooth sailing for Peter McKay. Yeah, so let's talk about that. Those three heavy hitters, all three of them sort of in succession, and you were covering it on Power Play. Jean Charest, no thanks. Uh, Ron Ambrose, no thanks. Now Pierre Polyev, no thanks, uh, which, which, you know, leaves... Aaron O'Toole, uh, uh, Marilyn Gladue, uh, and of course the heavy hitter here, Peter McKay. Yeah, it's really stunning. I mean, what a week this race has totally changed. Jean Charest was supposed to be in, then he was out. Uh, then Ronna Ambrose made that video yesterday and she announces she's out. Now I could tell you, sources have told me that she had thousands of people offering support and some, some people had said, I'm getting some uh, sources calling me right now, mm. some people had said that if she had decided to run, other candidates, Todd, would have dropped out. But she dropped out. We really thought that that meant the field was open for someone like Pierre Polyevra, who would have had the backing of people like a Stephen Harper. But apparently today, sources telling me he will announce he is not going to run. And that means the field is radically changed. And we'll cover this tonight on Power Play right at the top of the program. But it's pretty remarkable news how this race in the last 72 hours has dramatically shifted over. Yeah, and I was watching your show, Evan, on, on Thursday when you had, you know, Bob Fife with you right at the top of the show. And you were talking about this. And Fife was saying, you know, this is now getting closer and closer, you know, toward a, a bit of a coronation for Peter McKay. Uh, what's your read? Well, Peter McKay was worried about the progressive conservative vote switching. Uh, he might split that vote with someone like a Ronna Ambrose if she was running, or, of course, a Jean Charest. Those guys are gone. Then we thought, okay, it might be. And these were descriptive categories, the kind of Harper fiscal conservatives on one side from the West with Pierre Polyevra and the East, Peter McKay, although he connects a bit in the West. And Pierre Polyevra, obviously, because he's a, an MP in the Ottawa area, he connects there as well. But now this radically transforms it. And now, unless Aaron O'Toole gets traction, mm. and he's going to be fishing in the same pond as Peter McKay, Ontario progressive conservative, Marilyn Gladue, well, boy, uh, you got to wonder if this is not just for Peter McKay, as you said, a coronation. All right. I know you got to get ready for your show, Evan, but thank you so much for coming on here. Appreciate it. Thank you, Todd.